don't eat all that food, boy, I'm gonna whoop your ass. everyone, Joel Answer. In today's video, we are in Phoenix, Arizona, North Phoenix, be specific, at a place called Mama's Soul Fish and Chicken. Yeah, guess what? Fish and chicken, soul food. I love these things. I love soul food. I love that kind of Southern American whatever food. And this is supposed to be very, very good. So this challenge today is called the, I believe it's called the Super Mama. So the Super Mama Mama Platter um, makes sense. A place called Mama's Soul. So this is a huge platter featuring fried shrimp, fried fish, uh, fried chicken. I know I have to pick, I think it's three different sides and has a 30 minute time limit. The meal is about a hundred bucks. Um, if we do fail, I think it's 90, hundred bucks. We'll say taxes, about a hundred bucks. Um, but that being said, it is a free meal if we can complete the challenge. So I'm definitely excited. This place is well known in the area. It's kind of taken the area by storm for its true kind of Southern soul cooking. So with that, let's go have fun, eat some food, I'll give you some more details. And that's pretty much it soul food let's go so there are many reasons why i like phoenix arizona the surrounding area one my friends in buffalo and pretty close to where my home is they just got two feet of snow a crazy snowstorm here it's like 64 degrees in the teens i'm totally okay with that next they have everywhere circle k's with their polar pops and they all have the white cherry powerade on deck the zero one Heck yeah. Hi everybody, so here we are with the, and this is, I'm gonna get my pronunciation the best I could, my true kind of Mississippi, St. Louis kind of pronunciation. The Supa Mama. This is the Supa Mama, not Super Mama. This is the Supa Mama Platter. So super excited to dive on into this here. Looking delicious. This is one of my all time favorite cuisines. It's kind of true, kind of Southern soul American food. So here we have 10 pieces of their signature fried catfish. And what's really sweet is all these batters, all the dredges, all the flours, all homemade secret recipes. I've literally asked Mike, what is in it? And they're like, they won't tell me, not even a thing. The only thing I got out of them is that there's cornmeal in the uh, fish fry because I can physically see it. Then have eight pieces of chicken, a variety of giant wings. These are like literally the biggest freaking wings I've ever seen. I don't know where you get them from. Is that a St. Louis thing, big wings? St. Louis it's thing. a St. Louis thing um, with uh, thighs and legs. We have also up here about a pound and a half-ish, or they said upwards of maybe two pounds, but at least a pound and a half of their fried shrimp signature. I did have to choose three sides. I went with their uh, lovely collard greens, which look and smell delicious. This is a made with actually smoked turkey. Love turkey. I love smoked meats. We're gonna love that. I went with some of their beans, which have a ground beef in it. Again, I only know that because I can physically see it. I have their housemate coleslaw. I also have their variety of their famous sauce, the famous sauce. Um, which is a mix of, again, they won't tell me, but apparently it's good on everything. I uh, also some cocktail sauce, some target sauce, some regular hot sauce. Um, but yeah, like we said, big, big, big platter. It was about $100 value. And I love the staff. I love their personality. I love their flavor here. Um, let's just say mama. Yes, they're actually the big mama at mama's, you know, soul, fish, and chicken. It makes sense. And what'd you say about a minute ago? If you don't eat all that food, boy, I'm going to whoop your ass. Exactly. So this is a, I'm going to take that as a threat. No, I'm just kidding. So yeah, they, they, uh, let's just say they, they have high expectation for my abilities to eat. And apparently I'm going to get a butt whooping if I don't finish all this here. So at that, I say we get started here just momentarily. All right, buddy. So like we said, 30 minutes, a uh, lot of food, not a lot of time, but I don't have any uh, I Eat Animals merch on me right now. I'm wearing the Joel Hanson shirt, but which you can actually grab on joelies.com, but it'd be very suiting because we're definitely eating some animals today. I'll put it that way. I think we got to set an example for the kids, better eat our vegetables, right, mama? Yeah. All right, everybody. So I'm going to grab these little greens right here, collard greens. And uh, what do you guys say we get started? Maybe count of five, four, 
three, two, one. Let us go. All right, buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Is that turkey in there? Mm. Mm. All right. This is what's up. Mm. Mm. With some hot sauce, you know, in the corner. That's what I like to get. If you say so, little famous sauce. Mmm. Even without hot sauce. Mmm. Mmm. And without sauce. She's scraping the bowl. There ain't nothing left. Man, that is good. All right, guys, that's what you gotta say. Like, real soul food. Real southern food. There's so much flavor in that. Mm. Hey, that's how we like to make it. Man. Love. If it ain't made with love, it ain't made right. right. Hey, so I'll take it. Made with love. Mm. Sure, so. Man, those are pretty good. Cold sauce nice too. I mean, you guys definitely made that dressing. We're saying down. <laughs> I right, got some obligatory veggies down, set an exam for the children. Let's maybe move on to some of this not vegetable stuff. The animals. Yeah, the animals. <laughs> but holy delicious. All right, so I'm probably going to go with the fish next. I love me some fish. Good old catfish. I love catfish, so see what it's all about. Mmm. I got some for you. Nice crunch on it. Yeah. I try with the what did you say? Try with the famous. I will. <laughs> I got ten pieces to go. I gotta go through it. But really nice batter on it. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> Amazing front. <laughs> that did a good job of that. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Mama's Soul taking on this giant food challenge. So here we are with what is undoubtedly one of the biggest kind of soul southern food platters I've ever seen and definitely have ever attempted. So fried chicken, catfish, shrimp, whole bunch of sides. Man, this is true south and this thing was delicious. Famous? Oh yeah. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> It is so sweet. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. What? We see how sell hot sauce. Mm. Which I truly love. This is just a regular hot sauce. Mm -mm. Famous sauce. Mm -hmm. And I do like me some ketchup. Um hot sauce, so I'll try that combo. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Ruin everywhere. <laughs> Famous sauce, very good. One thing is for sure is the kind of flavors and seasonings and everything that they put into these items just made them taste great. With or without sauce, with accompaniments, without accompaniments, it was just delicious. Hmm? The St. Louis way. With the bread. Same Try the fish with, with what bread? Yeah, I'd like to sound piece of fish with some bread, onions, and pickles, and hot sauce. You're gonna love it. St. Louis way. All right, I'll try one bite. So they brought me up bread and pickles and onions. As if there's not enough food here. But so what do I do? I take a piece of bread and then a piece of fish, pickles, onions. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Listen, I'm down to try it. I like all these things, you know, separately. So, no, hot sauce or famous sauce? Hot sauce. Either one. No, I say hot sauce. I like hot sauce. Okay, ready to go hot sauce? Mmm. <laughs> wow. Bring out the fresh with it. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. <laughs> That is delicious. 
<laughs> yeah, that was not mandatory. It's part of the challenge, but very delicious. One thing I also want to mention about this challenge is how well they cooked this food. Like it was beautifully crispy, beautifully crunchy, but it wasn't like greasy, it wasn't overdone. So they definitely have their cooking per, uh, techniques perfected as well as obviously their recipes. So this now was definitely quite a difficult challenge. It was definitely large and with only 30 minutes, I knew I was gonna have to, you know, kind of keep my head down pretty well um, to try to get all the fish, all the shrimp and all the chicken done. Cause the chicken had a lot of bones. So that does slow it down a little bit. Do you need anything? I'm okay right now. <laughs> I mean, I only have a pile of food. <laughs> Should I try to touch that? Mm. You eat your nice mm. <laughs> Not always, but <laughs> often I like to move move through things kind of. Yeah. Now try the shrimp next. Start with some seafood. Then we'll go to the birds. Yeah, guys. It's fried shrimp. Sweet spice. You gotta dip it in a piece of spice. Oh, okay. Now you got some shrimps called famous shrimps. Famous shrimps? Listen, the shrimp should go with everything, the, the, the sauce is good with everything. Well, what's that? Are we putting the shrimp batter? Thank you. Yeah, I make that. It is very good. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if it's like a little bit like a lemon pepper vibe, but there's a little something, something going on. <laughs> They didn't tell me, but I can taste, but. <laughs> nah, I'm not living a Some good seasoning. Whatever it is, very good. <laughs> The family operating this restaurant originated from St. Louis, so you kind of have these really nice um, kind of touches of, we'll call it like the Midwest Southern uh, kind of cuisine there, but a lot of these recipes and the grandmother and the real lineage coming from Mississippi. So you have this like true soul with little bits of, again, that little Midwest flair and to create what they have here. Their famous sauce was awesome. It was a sweeter hot sauce. Um, it kind of reminded me a little bit of my favorite ketchup and hot sauce mix probably with a couple other seasonings kind of mixed in so it was definitely a very welcoming on my palate and that's something else I will mention the flavors and seasonings in all these items were like the perfect amount in the sense of none of these were offensive I don't think anybody could try this flavor and be like it's too I don't know salty or it's too spicy or it's too XYZ it was just the perfect balance of flavor taste salt and like i said you honestly could eat like the fish and the shrimp and everything without any sauce it just was delicious but of course i do love me some salt and some spices and some sauces so of course i was definitely utilizing them but no need and even like the collard greens per cooked perfectly so it's the st louis thing with the uh, pickles onions and that's just the way i've been eating since i was a kid so I've been to St. Louis, but that was the first time I ever tried like that. Well, I like it. This place is also, I guess, uh, really well known for their ribs, I guess, which is, it's not like a smoked rib, it's just like a grilled barbecue rib, which is pretty interesting. And then of course, obviously being their fish and chicken are probably the items they're most known for. Um, I will say though, I was thoroughly impressed with that shrimp, not the biggest shrimp person, but when I have shrimp like this, it makes me go, oh my gosh. And yeah, it was seriously that good. So wealth worth a try. Birds. Well, 10 and a half minutes soon, guys getting on these birds. We got wings, some whole wings. Early fire whole wings in Arizona. Really? Yeah. So a lot of Chicago people love us. Chicago people? Yeah. So the whole wing uh -huh. is definitely more of a southern soul food thing. Yeah. 
Which, shout out this chicken. This is really good. Thank you. Mmm. And that crunch. Yeah, so you gotta have a crunch to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. And it's perfectly cooked. So as we said, we're trying to get the free platter, the free meal, and essentially this is obviously like a jumbo platter, but you can get like the uh, fish platters, the shrimp platters, the chicken platters, you know, everything with sides and cornbread and all that good stuff. And it's the perfect consistency, where it's very crunchy, but it is just, again, moist, moist, moist fall the bone chicken. But that everyone, that's pretty much the majority of the information. Um, I would definitely call this a, let's say, good, at least intermediate level challenge um, due to there's the time limit, the amount of food, etc. And this was a very large platter. I mean, that's a full sheet tray. And those sides as well. I'm not really sure how many ounces they were, but they're definitely a good size cup. Um, but yeah, like we said, that pretty much the majority of the info. So Mama's absolutely some great soul food. So with that, let's tune on in, see if we can complete the challenge, see if we're going to be able to try the beans, as I definitely wanted to try all the items here, as many items as I could, because all the flavors were just that great on everything else, and I had, well, let's just put it this way, if everything tasted good so far, so I had high hopes everything would continue to be that way, but I won't spill the beans, no pun intended, at that, let's tune on in, see what happens, and at that, enjoy the rest of the video. And these are massive wings too. Seriously, but damn they are delicious. We can keep getting bigger. Where the heck do you get chicken with wings this big? Maybe it was a St. Louis thing. Thoroughly impressed with both the fish and the chicken. Said they're both good. I can attest. They are both good. I think there's a little oregano in that secret sauce. <laughs> I'm dissecting it. A little Italian season, something, something. It's good though. Very good batter. One thing I can tell, there's definitely some soul in this food. <laughs> no pun intended. But no shortage of food, everybody, that's for sure. About 16 minutes in. Ooh. Excuse me. Ooh. Ooh. Now I got some room for this last piece of chicken. All right, everybody. Ooh. That. Down to the beans. <laughs> I did. <laughs> He's telling somebody on the phone I swore and I did, guys. Usually I don't swear, but I tried these beans out, man. These look sticky, sweet, very uh, baby. Holy crap! All right, this. There is definitely some pancake syrup in them beans. <laughs> pancake syrup? No. Mm -hmm. It ain't pancake syrup. There is man. something. It is sweet. It is sticky. There's some love in it. That's mm -hmm. all. Some good love in it. That beef? All right. 
I gotta say, that is probably the most unique and one of my favorite southern beans I've had. But I gotta say, this will put some meat on your bones. Oh, oh my beer. god. <laughs> my beer. This is not calorie free. <laughs> in fact, I would hate to know what's in this. <laughs> Because I bet there's as many calories in this one little dish as there was in this whole tray. <laughs> a little bit of exaggeration, but. It was very good. <laughs> there is sweet in it. I mean, Sam. We finished? Yeah. Done. Woo! Yeah, we one time. All right, buddy. I think that was about uh, 18 minutes and. We got 35 or 40 seconds, something like that. Ah, Hot damn. damn. This is finished all that food. I would have been still going. Oh, wait, <laughs> well, I got to say, that was absolutely delicious. I was, Thank you. Well, I'm, I'm not just saying that. I'm, that was, I'm damn impressed, guys. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. There is some real soul in that, and I love me some real kind of true American Southern food, and that is exactly what this is. Man, everything from the chicken, the fish, the shrimp, really good seasoning in that. Thank you, sir. All the sides were really good. Those beans are fire. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me, comes to show. Those uh, collard greens as well, absolutely amazing. And normally, like, sides in me are like, you should have, like, I want the animals, but. Well, I guess there's animals in both those sides, but they're still really good. <laughs> but uh, at that once we do get the about $100 ish meal for free. Super cool people. You definitely do not need to eat all these items all at once. Come get yourself at separate occasions. Maybe one of these platters, one of those platters, one of these platters. Shrimp, chicken, fish, but damn delicious. I don't know. I actually think probably the shrimp or chicken is some of my favorite. And I like them all, but <laughs> those are good. And try those freaking collard greens, but. Mm. I tried the fish with that little sandwich thing. That was real good. The pickles. Oh, yeah. But and that one, that's about it. Again, huge thanks to staff here. I guess you don't get to whoop me today, mama. <laughs> so I'll take that as a, as a blessing. So until yeah. so next time, everybody. Of course, happy with hunger, happy eating, and that. Cool place. Really would recommend North Phoenix. With that, have a good day. Cool. Good job. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But hot damn, that was good. It was super good. So much flavor in that. There's more than what you expect, man. Oh man, like, don't get me wrong. Like, there's items I always like. Like, like I, you know, you're. I mean, you know, how bad can you go with fried chicken? But like, hot damn, that was really good. Everything, the chicken, the shrimp, the shrimp, especially so good. Those greens, even that <laughs> beans, <coughs> very good. Thank you.